What's going on, all you wild weed smokers out there? Your two favorite movie reviewers are back tonight, and we're going to be reviewing a biopic tonight. That's right, it's about the one and only Bob Marley. It's directed by the director of King Richard, Ronaldo Marcus Green, and it's about Bob Marley and the Whalers. It's called One Love. One Love. Don't worry. can't stop this message. I want the world to change. And that time is now. Bob Marley, <laughs> one love that they've been talking about for some time, finally put it out. Directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green. And, of course, we have British actor, of course, playing Bob Marley in this, Kingsley ben which doesn't really look like him too much, but, uh, you know, he did his best in this role. <laughs> but basically, it's it's lifespan from 1976 to 1978. There's a war going on in Jamaica, basically a civil war, you know, all politics and things like that, turning the people in Jamaica against one another. And, you know, Bob Marley's there, all about peace and smoking weed and playing music and having a good time and, you know, unity basically and there's a lot of stuff going on in jamaica which eventually kind of drives them out of jamaica traveling you know, around the world and eventually making some really amazing records did you notice the screenplay was written by terrence winner uh the sopranos writer no i didn't yeah terrence winner was uh the writer of the screenplay along with somebody else there but uh, yeah i noticed that and you can tell the writing's really strong dealing with the uh, you know, strife that was happening at this time. Jamaica, you had these political parties going head to head. You had a lot of bloodshed, you know, shootings all over and violence. And that's what Bob Marley was all about, bringing the people of Jamaica together, bringing the political parties together and reaching a understanding and, you know, stop the violence and let's all smoke weed, get high, make music and love each other. That's really his music here. And Kingsley Benadire plays the one, the only Bob Marley. And he gets to showcase his talents on screen here. He's a good, good actor. He might not look like Bob Marley, but he really portrays the character very well. Um, Bob Marley, you know, we get all the music in this. You know, it goes through the catalog of Bob Marley's music, Bob Marley and the Whalers, of course. It shows him recording the music. And specifically, it focuses on, you know, this moment in time where he was able to bring everyone together on love making the album exodus which is his most popular album and uh, an album that still is phenomenal if you listen to it today so many good songs on there uh, but yeah we get great music in this and it uh, brings up a lot of things that i didn't know that happened in bob marley's life like all the violence that happened to him you know people come into his house looking to kill him and, you know, luckily he got shot, but he did not die, of course. And a uh, girl in his band, I guess, that also eventually became his wife, Rita Marley, got shot as well. So, you know, it uh, could have ended a lot different. You know, we wouldn't have had Bob Marley around. He wouldn't be able to make this great music and bring everybody together if those people would have uh, been able to kill them. Luckily, it didn't happen like that. Um, but, yeah, at every corner... Uh, throughout the movie they're dealing with violence happening all around them they're just trying to make music and bring people together but you know no matter where they turn they'd always have to watch out and watch their backs and there was always danger lurking behind them during that time it, w it wasn't easy for bob marley to get this this music made you know he had to do a lot of things independently and he had to find the right producer and eventually he was able to find the right people to get involved and really believe in his vision uh, for the album Exodus. And uh, I had a good time with this. Um, it was a pretty standard biopic, you know, dealing with the, only a specific uh, set. But it does also flash back to his childhood. You see where he came up, uh, you know, came up where he lived, uh, the, the kind of childhood he was brought up in, and what made him, you know, the man that he was when he was this great musician. Uh, you know, towards the end of his life. Yeah, when Bob Marley got shot, they were having like a rehearsal and he was up in his kitchen. The guys came into his like kitchen, just shot him and his friend. 
survive that time and they're like okay let's mm-hmm. let's escape let's get out of jamaica and they ended up making their way to london and this is of course 1970s the the punk movement the punk era mm-hmm. so they're at a punk show there's like mosh pits and people fighting <laughs> and bob marley yeah. and his friends like what's going on Mom? you know like it's hilarious but that that uh-huh. was during, you know when he was in london that's where they recorded exodus that's that was right. pretty cool that kind of inspired him in, in some way you know mm-hmm. being at that punk show and what's going on in london at that time which was really cool i didn't know about that of course, Exodus being incredible is probably his best album. And I was looking at Spotify today. He has like 27 million monthly listeners. That's crazy. Yeah. Like it's still, you know, the next yes. generation, younger generation still listen to Bob Marley. You know, he's still relevant to this day from 50 years ago. So that's really incredible. Yeah. And I really enjoyed this movie. I thought uh, Kingsley ben again, doesn't look like him, but I thought he had the charisma and the grace of Bob Marley. He really mm. kind of fell into the role and his dance moves and the way he performed is really spot on from what I've seen of live performances. I thought Rita Lashana Lynch was really incredible. One of the best performances of the movie. Of course, the band, I was impressed by the band being a musician, especially the drummer, the actor who played mm-hmm. him. All the drum parts were like spot on. He wasn't faking it. He actually learned how to play that. That's so I was awesome. keeping an eye on that. So they kept, kept this super authentic to the music and went behind making these songs. These, you know, legendary songs. You could definitely tell that the writers, Terrence Winter, uh, and the other writers talked to the family and got all the details and, you know, didn't skip over any of the important parts like that. It, it felt really authentic. It felt like it, you know, as it did, it got the blessing from the family. You can tell that they really wanted to tell the authentic story about Marley. No bullshit, you know, show everything that happened. That's what I really uh, felt in this movie. It felt very authentic. The the music, like you mentioned, the performances, Kingsley ben put us all into it too, into the performances, watching the live, uh, you know, performances from them on stage. It felt like it was real. You know, he obviously wasn't uh, singing all the time. You know, it, it was Bob Marley's music there. You could really picture Bob Marley there. His spirit was through the movie and the, it, it really came through watching this movie. So all in all, it was a very good biopic, not my favorite biopic by any stretch, but still a a very impressive movie as a whole. And they really captured the spirit of Bob Marley and made me want to listen to the music, go back and listen to these albums and listen to this music. You know, I I lived on an Island for a couple of years and I I remember (laughs) listening to Bob Marley. There's something about being close to the Caribbean in there. That kind of music resonates and that's, it, it still resonates. So um, they really captured the the kind of feel of that, uh, you know, that place in the world and especially what was going on at that time in the world. Being able to bring everybody together was pretty phenomenal and seeing that that concert that they did at the end and actually bringing the two political parties together on stage. So, yeah. It was a phenomenal movie, and I'm uh, glad that I checked it out. Something about reggae music in the Caribbean. I mean, that's what the music, that's what uh-huh. it's all about. Good vibes and relaxing and enjoying the time with your friends and family and loved ones. And that's what this is all about. Peace and unity, bringing people together. There's already enough stress in the world. Let's just come together, listen to music, have a good time, and remember those moments. And Bob Marley stood for a lot. And I learned a lot in this film. Didn't know too much about him. Love his music. Love Bob Marley and the Whalers. Always have, always will very peaceful, happy music that you need after a hard, stressful day and learning about him and, you know, his unfortunate death, his skin cancer of all ways. Yeah. It was really crazy, you know, having to do with yeah. his toe. So I didn't know about that either, but leaving behind a bunch of kids too, you know, Ziggy Marley, his son mm-hmm. ended up doing music and stuff like that, but he had a lot more kids I wasn't aware of. Uh, Bob Marley, One Love, had a great time with it. Currently streaming right now. So I'm going to give the movie a four out of five. A gun's up, pieces. <laughs> I'm too going to give Bob Marley one love, a four out of five Kingsley Benadir hair pieces. So I want to hear from all you reggae enthusiasts out there. What did you like about Bob Marley one love? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. Also check out these wild musicians on Facebook, X, and Instagram at our website, cinefels.com for the latest, greatest TV, movie, news, and reviews. So until the next Cinefellas movie review. I'm Henry Hill, and that's my good mate. And I'm at Rastafari and Logan, man. Until the next <laughs> movie review. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.